two weeks from tomorrow, Iowans will brave the cold for that first in the nation caucuses. For years, it's been a way to whittle down the presidential candidates, but some wonder if Iowa will keep that role. Here's Fox 28 News reporter Kevin Barry. Right alongside the fact that Iowa feeds the nation with its corn and soybeans, Iowans are also proud of the fact that they get the first crack at presidential candidates every election cycle. The question is, are they the best ones to do it? If you see any candidate speak in the Hawkeye State, rarely will they escape from even their own events without Iowa questions that can be tough as a cold wind on an empty cornfield. I think it's time to start attacking uh, Mr. Obama. The number one selling point is our citizens take this seriously. They show up at events, they vote. Iowa does a really good job of this. This is not passive what we do. We do this, people take their time and they go to different events and they see different candidates and they look them in the eye and they ask them really good questions. But Coe College political science professor Bruce Nesmith isn't quite as sold. I don't know that Iowa is particularly good at this other than maybe we've done it so long. Um, and we have to, to see how the, the um, the, caucus, the, the caucus votes actually come out, but the polls look pretty much like the national polls, so I'm not sure that there's anything special about Iowa. Nesmith says there are definite advantages to the Hawkeye state getting the first crack at presidential contenders. He says the size of the state makes it relatively easy to get to a lot of places quickly, and many adults born and raised in Iowa have been doing this since they were kids. The advantage is, is that we know how to do it. Right, and so if you know if, if a new state, they probably might take a little while to catch on. My guess is they probably catch on. If nothing else, Iowa Democrats and Republicans both say no, they won't catch on. That sort of interaction with with the voter is exactly what Iowa does well, and I think we do it better than anywhere. And I would challenge that anyone would do it as well as we do. So I can do so much, but the people of this state, both Republican and Democrat. They're the folks that are going to keep this for us. Coming up later this week, we take a look at the impact on the rest of the nation if Iowa were to lose its first-in-the-nation status. Kevin Barry, Fox 28 News. And this Thursday, Fox 28 is hosting a live town hall event. Your Voice, Your Future, the Iowa Impact takes place at 6 p.m. at Public Space One, also known as the Wesley Center in Iowa City. You can see it right here on Fox 28, and it will also be open to the public. Our panel will include both the Iowa Republican and Democratic Party chairs, along with other political experts.